Now, if you're over 25, you probably don't know about it, but this week, a phenomenon has swept classrooms and campuses in the US, the UK, and well beyond. More than 32 million people have watched a video, not about a pop star, nor a movie, but about a war which has plagued Central Africa for a quarter of a century. The video calls on ordinary people across the world to press for the capture of Joseph Kony, the leader of the Lord's Resistance Army. But some charities say the campaign will do more harm than good. Here's our international editor, Lindsay Hilson. Pop star Rihanna's seen it. Rapper P. Diddy told his Twitter followers to watch it. So did spin doctor Alistair Campbell's daughter. Who are you to end a war? I'm here to tell you, who are you not to? It's gone viral with a simple message. Kids are being abducted in northern Uganda. Let's catch the bad man who's doing it. This is the guy, Joseph Kony. He's the bad guy? Yeah. Influential figures and Rihanna's retweeting it on Twitter and I think it just became so big and so popular so fast that you kind of had to get involved. The messianic cult, the Lord's Resistance Army, has been plaguing Central Africa for decades. And in one week, this slick piece of marketing has alerted more people to the issue than 25 years of traditional reporting. It's done it in such a way which is grabbing hold of like the Facebook generation, the Twitter generation, the YouTube generation and just gone, right guys, this is what we can do as, 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 as now as one big community. But the film made by the advocacy group Invisible Children isn't entirely accurate. Because if I saw my brother once again. This weeping child's brother was killed in 2003. But the warlord Joseph Kony hasn't operated in northern Uganda for six years. He's fled to the Central African Republic. President Obama sent 100 US military advisers there last October. But the film's message that they must catch Kony before the year's end isn't necessarily the answer to the problem. Either it means that invisible children, which is in so many other ways great at generating awareness, at least in terms of likes and retweets, uh, wasn't able to generate awareness in a holistic sense of an understanding of where the LRA is today, or it means the, uh, the invisible children intentionally kind of downplayed this because it's too complicated and they didn't want to distract people with the messy geopolitical reality of it. When Channel 4 News last did a story about the LRA in 2005, we didn't get 32 million viewers. We care about accuracy. But we don't reach the people the film Coney 2012 is reaching. If you dive straight in with the facts and the complexities of the issue and, and the cause, then people will switch off. And I think it has to be simplified into good and bad, like it was with the kid. Whether it's a basic truth or a half truth, the millions of likes, tweets, and views keep mounting. Well, joining us now in the studio is the Ugandan writer and musician Musa Akwanga. Uh, Musa Akwanga, where are you on this? I mean, is this... I mean, it's great that people know what a wretched and dreadful man Kony is, but what about intervention? Well, there's a big leap between visibility and intervention. I say, first of all, very positively, I'm happy uh, that this issue's been belatedly raised on such a scale and that the next generation are now addressing it. I think that there are certain key omissions within that video, uh, one of which has been raised, obviously, uh, the fact that Kony has not been around since 2006. The other one, I think, was just um, there's not one bad guy in this situation. When someone runs riot in a country for 26 years, there are several bad guys probably enabling him, and I think that was brushed over um, very unfortunately in this case, I think. Yes, I mean, even the present regime, frankly, uh, uh, it's been convenient because a lot of uh, his opponents have been um, tied up... Uh, uh, well, from voting in the sense that they're out of their villages and, and can't vote. Well, what I think it's fair to say is that um, President Museveni has been very successful militarily. Um, you know, that's what brought him to power in the first place. And there's something very interesting about the fact that for 26 years, um, someone far inferior in terms of resources has evaded its capture. That, I think, tells its own story. What about the phenomenon, though? I mean, it, I don't think I'm aware of anything which has ever caught fire in filmic terms like this on, on the web before, and it's an extraordinary subject to do it. Well, it's amazing, I think, because uh, the film itself is very immersive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's half an hour, which is longer than the average viral video. But I think the strength of that is it's almost like a short film. Do you think it's because these young people are watching what's happened to young people? I think that's part of it. I think another element as well is that it has celebrity endorsement. And 
the people retweeting this video have got several million followers. And these aren't your average followers. These are followers who will retweet anything that you, that you send on, who will blog anything, who will watch anything. And that's a tremendously powerful force. It's extraordinary because, I mean, as Lindsay said, we as reporters, <laughs> we might have brought it to perhaps, I don't know, a million people, but at most. Uh, you as a musician ha have probably had things which have gone viral uh, on, on the web, but, but, but not to these numbers. But you didn't have Twitter, you didn't have Facebook, you didn't have YouTube, you didn't have this culture. And I think that communication is a tremendously powerful tool. Um, I'm actually just very happy this issue's in the light now because for all the criticisms level at the, uh, the, uh, the campaign, and there are many to be made that are valid, absolutely very many. The great it, it is, is actually saying to Obama, will you go and get this man? Effectively, well, isn't well, it? Well, it's begged the question, and actually it's uh, opened the door for wider questions to be asked about governance in Uganda and the wider region. Mm. Thanks very much indeed, Musa Konga. Thank you. Kathy.